This is Eugene Panrikovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Toshiba T235D, Toshiba 235D laptop computer with a cracked screen, and we're going to show you how to replace it. Before we do anything, we want to remove the battery, and that's on the bottom. And the way we remove the battery is there's two levers. They're kind of cleverly disguised, so it took me a while to figure it out. But there are these little things down here. So we slide the right one to unlock it. And then we slide the one left one out and pull the battery out like so. Once the battery is out, we can safely work with the laptop. So I forgot to mention it's a satellite, Toshiba Satellite 235D. Now let's go over the tools we're going to need to remove the screen. We need a X-Acto knife with a pointed blade to remove the rubber screw covers. We need a pair of metal tweezers to extract screws. And an electronics screwdriver with a PH zero bit, which is smaller. PH stands for Phillips, and zero is the size, and a little bit larger pH one bit. Most likely we'll just use the pH one bit, but we'll have the pH zero bit just in case. All right, let's get started. To remove the screen, we need to remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame that goes around the screen. And to remove the screen bezel, we need to remove two screws at the bottom of the screen bezel. Now this one, one of the rubber covers is missing, but one of them is there. So we use our X-Acto knife to remove the rubber cover. And then we use our PH1 bit. My camera is falling off. Make sure it's okay. And we use the PH1 bit to get it to screw. Now you have to go kind of an angle, like so. And we remove this screw, like so. You have to put a little bit of force on it at the beginning because it's an angle. And we use our metal tweezers to remove the screw. Okay, I'm going to adjust the camera again. I think my head is shrink shrinking because the camera is falling off. Okay, next. We're going to do the same thing with this screw down here. Once again, we have to use some force to engage the screw. But once it's engaged, we can easily start removing it. And we use our metal tweezers to remove the screw. Looks like it's not quite out yet. And it comes out by itself. Okay, so once we do that, we're ready to remove the bezel. Okay, in order to do that, this is probably the hardest part. What I like to do is put my fingertips on the screen side and gently start lifting up. Once I hear the snapping sounds, that's a good sign. The screen is coming off. So, adjusting my camera again. The screen is coming off, like so. And we do the same thing on the bottom. Gently pry it up on the bottom until the bezel is ready to come off. And then just the hinge covers are still securing the bezel to the laptop. We lift those up with our tweezer. That's what I like to do. Like so. And pull the bezel out. Now we put the bezel to the side. Okay, next, with this type of screen, and the, screw, the screen is mounting to the metal mounting brackets, the screws on the side of the screen, and we have to get to those screws on the side of the screen. And so far I see two screws on this side, it looks like three or four on the other side. 
But in order to get to those screws, we have to tilt the screen up a little bit for the screen to stumble to get to those screws. So in order to do that, we remove the two screws at the top that are holding the metal mounting brackets to the back of the screen assembly. Once we do that, the screen tilts forward a little bit from the screen assembly, which is what we want. And now we want to get to the screws on the side. So on this side, in, in your laptop, there's most likely going to be a screw here. In this laptop, for some reason, there's no screw there, so there's these two screws. And most likely, just by tilting the screen up like this, you're not going to be able to get to this screw. So what I like to do in this case is loosen up the screws at the bottom here that are holding the hinge to the screen assembly, and that allows me to tilt the screen forward a little bit. And now we can get to these screws here. Okay. Now, I'm going to remove these two screws on the side. Still using our pH 1 bit. Doesn't look like we're going to need our pH 0 bit. So we remove one screw and two screws. Typically, there's going to be three on this side. And we do the same thing here. We loosen up these two screws. Let's zoom in a little bit. We loosen up these two screws down here. So that the screen can tilt forward a little bit. And then we remove the screws that are holding the screen to the metal mounting bracket. So now to remind you again, when you're putting the laptop back together, make sure you tighten these screws again. It's really easy to forget. So we remove these screws one by one. And when you do this, make sure that the screen is tilted back a little bit because once you remove all the screws, there's something holding the screen and it's going to fall forward. Like you saw, it just fall back. You don't want it to fall forward. Okay, now that the screen is free from this screen assembly, we gently tilt it forward and we make sure there's nothing grabbing it. The webcam cable was grabbing a little bit. And there looks like some tape here that's securing the video cable to the screen. We lift up this tape. Okay, so there's one connector down here. Like so. We lift up the tape that's holding the connector. You can either use your fingernails or the X-Acto knife. This is a stubborn tape. That's okay. We're even more stubborn. We lift it up. And we also lift up the adhesive that's holding the video cable, attaching the video cable to the screen. Like so. Okay, once the tape on top is removed and the adhesive on the back is removed, we gently pull the cable, the video cable back and release the connector. Okay, before we go any further, I'm going to give a little tutorial on how to reconnect it. Now, the biggest source of trouble I see when people do this procedure at home is they don't connect this connector properly. It's not fully engaged. So when you slide the connector in, make sure you feel a little click when you slide it in, and there should be no gap, no seam between the two connectors. So let's get a little zoom, close up, zoom. Let's see if we can get a good zoom. Okay, this is probably as good as we're going to get. This is a properly connected connector. So pause it right there and make sure your connector looks like this when you connect it. The new screen. Okay, so let's take a look at this screen. Let's remove the connector once more. Like so. Let's take a look at the screen. This is a 13.3 inch LED screen. 
Now the bad news about this screen is that it's not a very common type of screen. As a matter of fact, I believe this is the first time I've ever run across this screen. But uh, you can find it. And the number that you need to look for is N133B6 and dash L02. I don't think the dash L02 is very important. You want to look for the N133B6. And when you do order your screen, make sure your connector is here. Sometimes the connector is placed in a different location, but make sure it's on the bottom right. Now, the reason that this screen is not so common is that most laptops with 13.3 inch screens, they're the slim variety. They're a bit thinner than this, and they have mounting tabs on the sides. Sony laptops use the slim variety for the most part. So this is a standard not sunscreen as that's commonly available. Now um, we occasionally have this screen in stock at screen searches and if we don't screen have the screen in stock we'll point you the right way where to find it. So in order to find this screen for us, go to screensurgeons.com, click on buy a screen and there will be a short form to fill out with your email and laptop model number and we'll reply to you either with a link to our catalog to the screen or a place where you can find the screen elsewhere from a reliable vendor. Okay, um, that's it. Now uh, to put the screen back in, put the connector back as I had instructed you. Put the screen in, put the sc attack, screws the screws back in on the sides Tighten the hinge assemblies down here that you loosen. Then snap the bezel on and put the two screws on and that should be it and you should be ready to go. Okay, and that's it. My name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.